Hey. I'm recording everybody. Everybody say hello. Anyone over this way want to say hello? I'm recording right now. Are you recording? Say hi. Hi. We're at Wait, CC's Carly Memorial. Jean. You say hi, Carly Jean. Carly Jean. It's my little uh, niece Alicia. right there. Alicia. Alicia. No, mom. <laughs> And then, and then there was Angela. <laughs> oh, is it a correct somebody? And there's Nana <laughs> and Lavea and Natalia. There's Amos's little yeah, girl, firstborn. Alicia. Alicia. Come here, Mama. Hi. Hi, Boo. Hi. Let me see. Hi. Hi. Alicia. She was, she was hugging her little sister. Say what's up, Amos. And giving her a kiss. We're at CC's memorial. Yeah. What are you giving your kiss? Say what's up, Nick. The camera. Oh, yeah. Can you girls say hello? Hi. Natalia, you're the most important. Can you say hi? We're at your sister's memorial and your daddy's memorial. I know, I know, daddy's smiling down. There's my niece Sierra. May she rest in peace. And this is one of the newest members of the family. Miss Ava. I have her name on my arm for some reason. You have the Ava? Oh, is it Ava or Lee Ava? Ava for short. Ava for short. So yeah, you still got <laughs> and there's Cece's little sister Natalia. And there's Sierra's mother Julia, my sister. And there's my other little niece. There's my little nephew Michael. There's my brother Jabron. Julia, mom's got, mom's got a card for you. You want to read it? There's my brother Charlie. And my mom. Can't forget my twin Jasmine. Carly's mother. Can I video you? Yeah. Just turn, well, you're videoing yourself. Oh, I am? <laughs> oh. Yeah, I don't know, I think well, all this new technology, I can say. With his own camera. Get the other way. But the notebook is in there, so I'm thinking that you wanted to write notes and then you put the butterfly on there. I don't know. I don't know what this is. Does it say oh, it's on your... It must be your beads or something that's in here. Yeah, somebody wants to put that in there. What is that? Some beads that I just found. Right here. Oh. And we're going to release the balloons in a little get, bit. So and that's for Sierra and Jason. Oh. Are you filming that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, there she is. Mitzi, you guys want to move back to it so I can take a picture of it? Oh, yeah. Thank you. You got to snuck it in there. Just hold it up. <laughs> Okay, let let move back, you guys. So I can take a picture real quick. All right, Jade, how do I stop? Just like your pops, you know, put put it put it on a chair and sit there and talk to it for 20 hours. Yeah, I remember. This is my first video I've ever made. Yeah, yeah. This new girl. <laughs> Sorely missed. Is that daddy?
Titanic. That tree right it's behind beautiful. us, right there with that black yeah, on the bottom, I had that planted in memory of Sierra. Oh, oh that tree right there? Right there. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, no, no, no. I have that. No. We are now walking over to my niece Sierra's tree that was planted in her memory. There's supposed to be something at the bottom of it to commemorate her life, but it is not there. Yep. They grew it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was planted in her honor. Are these crab apples? I think so. Yep, they are. Little crab apples. I think they are crab apples. They are? Yes, they are. That's Sierra's little sister, Natalia. Natalia, how how young were you when your sister passed? You were four years young? Really? Wow. That's a beautiful tree. May it grow and grow through all the seasons. Peaceful over here, ain't it, bro? He's a little upset, as we all are. We're going to do a balloon release in Sierra and Shorty's honor and in honor of my brother who was murdered August 20th, 2011. May he rest in peace. And there's Sierra's brother Michael with his two kids. Cut him. Don't get yourself. Hey, did you see the back of this? From the flap of butterflies' wings. Come out. Is this your first time here, Jay? Second. This is the back of Sierra's tombstone. From the flap of a butterfly's wings. Some powerful winds of change. Uh -huh. It's beautiful. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah. Well, should we um gather in a circle? Anybody want to say a prayer? Jody said one before. Yeah, mom. You say it again. Angela. No, Angela's the favorite. Natalia. Wants Carly. Wants Carly. Hey, Anna. Come on. Carly, come on. I don't want them going down. <laughs> come on, guys. You got to stay away from me. Grandma. <laughs> oh, good. It's not like she said grandma. She come did. on, Carly. Did she? Mama. 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 Oh, it's all. Hey, get over here. Julia, do you mind if I film it? Come on. The prayer? Mm -hmm. yeah. There's my little niece. Getting all crazy as usual. Her name is Alicia. the balloons in memory of Jason also. So six for Jason and six for Sierra. And one for Bernard. They're for all three of them actually, all together. No, I do There's only 12 balloons though. It's okay. There's six of them, isn't there? We're getting ready to balloon the ball do the balloon release. Yeah. They're all for everyone. Yeah, of course. In honor of everyone that's passed in our family. And how how important it is for us to stay together. And it is a fight to be in each other's lives and to forgive and to let go and not become offended by everything that we do to each other. But if we can't stand together, we're not going to make it. And that means fighting for each other even when someone's doing something you don't like. It's fighting to love them and to have compassion and forgiveness. It's fighting when they can't fight. And I know that's happened for many times for me where people have been in this family to fight for me. 
and I haven't always extended that hand to other people. But I do my best, and I know that we got to step it up. We don't, we don't have a lot of time here on Earth. We don't know how long it's going to last. So I just want to say that so everybody can keep it, keep that fresh in your mind, because we start to forget. We start to forget that this isn't about right and wrong. This isn't about being perfect. That's not what love's about. That's far from what love is about. This is too much, too much hurt. So I hope that you can just remember that and just be different. Every day do something different than what we did yesterday. Honestly, something that I want to share about Jason and Sierra. Mm-hmm. When we were at mom's camp, camper, remember when Jason was reading? He read the book, the book Sierra. that Sierra had written. He was literally like reading it with and such enthusiasm. And they cried a lot. And like he completely like was just expressing how smart Sierra was at yes. that young of an age. Yeah. You know? Like yeah. she had. <laughs> and and um, he had even met Sierra and he just broke down and he, cried he right there. He couldn't even finish the book, but he read it as much as he could. Yeah, Sierra wrote a book for my mom when she was. Well, she started when she was seven and ended when she was eight. <coughs> and it was called I'm Going to See My Nanny in Ar- or My Grandma in Arizona. Mm-hmm. So she had like chapters and she was the author. The tape, yep, she was the author. Copyright date. Yeah, I went to see that. my grandma in Arizona. Or I want said, to see my grandma in Arizona. Yeah, and at the end it said uh, about the author and she had a picture and she was wearing a bathrobe and she was like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember about the book that he that he was so enthused about when she said to Julia, Mom, will you read me a bedtime story and she would answer what Julia was supposed to say yeah. and she'd be like, yes yeah, yes dear yes honey I will read you a bedtime story <laughs> I'm nuts about it. you yeah. was the name of the book and I looked because Jason wanted to go that day to get the book nuts about you he says we've got to find that book we've got to find it I said Jason we're not going to run all over Madison Sunday. <laughs> it's open and there's nothing in the Dell. So I think it was Monday or Tuesday. I went chasing that book. I called Julia. I said, look through the books. You've got to find the book. Well, we didn't find the book. She didn't no, find we the haven't book. found it. It's, she thinks it's, it's still in the nuts about you? Yeah, nuts it's, about you. It's like, a long, it's like that long and it's skinny and it has a squirrel in the front of it. It's got a squirrel gathering nuts. Nuts about you. And he, he just wanted that book so bad to mail it to Julia. That was his. I just wanted to share like correlation between Sierra and Julia and Jason. And so whenever you guys get a chance and you come to Madison or to the campsite, I want everybody to take that time to read that book from front to back. I went back Wednesday because I forgot my teeth. I <laughs> so I had to go to the Dells. And I sat down and read that book with a clear head, and it was really incredible. And he, he um, specifically counted how many times she said grandma in that Yes. Book. It was like grandma, 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 oh. grandma, grandma. Yeah. Can we do this? Can we do this? Mm-hmm. So. Jason really made an imprint on our family. Yeah, he did. Yeah. He really did. And mm-hmm. he, we didn't know him that short. Yeah. You know. Well, the day that he left for the airport, Jazzy and Jay were there and Robert, because Jazzy and Robert were going to take him, and he broke down and started crying real hard, and he just said, uh, I think he said, I felt like I'll never see you guys again. He says, goodbye, and I don't think I'll ever see you again. We'll all see him again soon. So. We well, that's what I told him. You know what? I'll see you soon because in this family we don't say goodbye. Right. We say hello. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? What up? What up? <laughs> Did you write? Pick that up and put it in the box. Oh, okay. Alright. Well, do you want to bring the balloons over? I'll, I'll say something real quick. 
you know, I, I think, you know, not, not really about CC, but just about, you know, us as a family and, you know, another okay. generation in this family. <coughs> it's important, you know, to uh, kind of embrace change. You know, Absolutely. Not for ourselves, but for the young, yeah. for the young ones, because they learn. I can't touch them. You know, they learn from, from what we teach them, even though if we teach them what's not right and we're doing it, they're not going to listen to that. They're going to, they're going to mock, you know, the things that we're doing, you know, and it's been a journey that I've been working on and I'm still working on it, you know, to try to teach my kids, you know, the best way to live as possible, you know, spend as most time with them as possible, you know, you never know when it's going to be your last day or when it's going to be their last day. Just spend as much time with our kids and, you know, be grateful they're there. Be grateful they're there and, and just to, uh, you know, like I said, embrace change, positive change in your life and, you know, not, not let anybody tell you anything different as long as it's positive and you're doing, you're doing what you know is right in your heart. I think I it's. I share that, you know, I, I've always been one to live in the moment. I think that people should, you know, seize the moment for what it is. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, you think about just moments that trickle down and then they, like a ripple, and you never realize, you know, I remember when Malachi Timmy Sierra had cancer. <laughs> Jason, he sang karaoke with me, and I can't sing at all, so <laughs> it was a moment for me, because he sang karaoke with me, and when I walked away that night, I, you know, you don't think that that was a moment, and every moment should be cherished and savored, so, and I thank you for being a part of, I'm thankful for being a part of this family. We're grateful to have you. There's always room for one more in this huge family. <laughs> Is that not true or what? Oh, yeah. yeah. I think it's also important that all of us step back. And really, I've said it time and time again, step back and really reevaluate what's truly important in our life. Because uh, you never know. How long you have left on this earth? I'm grateful, and I'm sure all of us are grateful that we're here together in this day to celebrate these folks' life that have passed on, and then we will see them soon, and they'll, they'll never be forgotten. Yeah. Natalia, yeah, we're gonna release. Tell Michael to come over. We're gonna release the balloons. Now they all left. <laughs> Come on, guys. The balloons. This is rough. <laughs> this is very hard to watch. And go through all over again. <laughs> I'm going to walk around.
Absolutely. Imagine that. We're half of each other, me and Jasmine. <laughs> Thank you, sis, for having us. Fly to heaven. We'll be there someday. Do you guys remember when Jason released the balloons to Sierra? He sat down for two hours and wrote those little cards and attached them to each balloon at the wedding. He sat there. Remember Jasmine? And I was like, what are you doing? Rest in peace, Shorty. My niece, Sierra Turner. My brother, Jason Sambita. Uncle Suki. Grandma Marion and little baby Isabella who passed away yesterday in Madison, Wisconsin. We love you and you will all sorely be missed. to see but they're all still in flying in sync with each other <laughs> that's the next generation of our family part of them anyway not everyone can be here today day to release the balloons, huh? And to everyone up in Madison and down in Florida, thanks for your support. Carrie, I love you. We all love you. <coughs> and kiss a little lyric for us as well. <coughs> Jason did not die in vain. still flying together. We're gonna go walk over to Shorty's 
grave site and he's about 30 yards buried away from Sierra. He was the first to pass on September 20th, 2003. And Sierra passed August 24th, 2007. And this is my brother's wife, Jody. And that's my little niece, Carly. And this is Shorty's daughter right here, Natalia. What a handsome looking man, Natalia. What are you making that video for? Because it's important for our family, sweetie. Oh. So when the van stuff goes So is this where you got your good looks from? <laughs> Did you get your good looks from your daddy, honey? <laughs> hmm? Can you look up at me and smile? I, <laughs> I remember Ooh. Malachi telling me when I was pregnant that we were going to have a boy. He's a name, we were going to name it Bernard. And I couldn't win that battle. Yeah. And I was adamant about having a girl. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm like, we're not naming our son Bernard. <laughs> right. Bernard, <laughs> if you're wondering, is... He named his son Bernard. Bernard. Who's yeah. I knew your dad is Shorty. Yeah. Shorty was his nickname. Yeah. He was short, but he was a stocky guy. <laughs> and there's Natalia's father right there. Well, you had a girl at least. Yes, we had a girl. Good looking so dude. Named after my dad, so we named after my dad. My dad's May you rest in peace, peace, brother. We love you. Can you go over there and put your dad's shades on, Natalia? Mm -hmm. Please? Mm -hmm. I can get a picture of you. Can you put your chin on there again? So I can see it. Those were her father's glasses that he wore in construction. And they've been here ever since that date, September 20th of 2003. Yeah, you're beautiful. I love you. All right. Daddy's smiling down on you, you know. I promise. He's proud of his little girl. Thank you, sweetie. Can we say rest in peace to everybody? Can you say?